I was kind of more impressed with this loading screen thing before I realized he just says the same thing every time. Like, I'm sure it changes eventually, but it's been hours, so... Has not... Oop. New things have not entered the pool for a while. What is going to happen here? I don't know if I trust these people. Probably shouldn't. Fuck and let fuck. So we just had a meeting all together about all of us going into this heist. And now he is the only survivor of that meeting besides me. And he's- I'm kind of trapped in the- ooh. That's some good art that's under- little undersold by the fact that there's two of them next to each other. Uh... The needle for? <clears throat> it's in his best interest to just fucking package me up. Like, he just had me walk in here. It's like, if he can- if he can just sell me out and deliver me, then... He- that's the closest thing to getting out of here that he can, I- I figure. At this point, I'm figuring that that, uh, yeah, the, uh... Fighting through that gang was, like, not the same balancing as other parts of the, of the game, I guess? Because... The- the big super tower of a mega core that seems like it'd be, like, a really big deal to go shooting through was way easier than that gang of people that looked like, uh, Reaper... whatever you call them. Uh, the Reapers... Fr no, the Geth, sorry. The Geth from... from, uh, Mass Effect when they put people on, like, a spike and stuff. Was that supposed to actually smash the mirror? Here, I'll look away and come back and maybe it'll respawn? No? Uh... Well, that really undercut it. <laughs> That's disappointing. They, did, they make- they make- they make mirrors that are just too strong for a cathartic smashing. <laughs> well, screens. Not even a mirror. No, oh, it is supposed to have a... it just fucked up. Alright, well... <sighs> this game is... <laughs> My benefit of the doubt is running out about this stuff. Where it's like, I was, I was trying to just be patient and not call out any every bug I see immediately as being a big deal, except for when I can't avoid it, like when, like, the uh, chopsticks, because... You always get that thing where people are like, you just go in wanting to hate the game, or you just wanted to criticize it, or you're not being fair and stuff, but... <laughs> it's, I think we're gonna have one of those playthroughs like Wasteland 3, where the game's gonna break in a new way every five minutes for the entire playthrough, because... Spoilers, it's all broken. I guess let's just enjoy the ride. Oh. Could be. Remember our first convo? I'll fucking kill you! I've chosen the quiet life after all. No blaze of glory for me. Well, maybe I should have sent my friend to his family. I am indisposed. Is it going to be like Detroit Become Human? Am I going to be in like a, a dumping ground of android bodies? No, it's a hospital. Interlude. Hey. Who am I? Someone with a snake tattoo on their hand? Am I a different character entirely? I don't know. Hey. You're right. Never been better. 
Sure don't look it. I'm definitely a new person. I can't let you on. Hey, hey, we're chill. Oh. I see. <laughs> I'm Keanu Reeves. Of course. Wow, people are really disappointed in me, aren't they? Sup? You want to go? Yeah, <laughs> he said. He actually sat down. Oh yeah, the gun will do that. Tonight. I'm here to say goodbye to all of you. Did he shoot himself in that performance? Is that the implication? Oh. I read into the goodbye incorrectly. We're off to a little bit of a rough start here. You're wasting your lives following us around like dogs. What crawled up your ass? Okay, I want it today. Um, uh, hmm. I don't know about the celebrity cameo. Okay. Maybe he's never. Has he ever done voice acting for a video game before? Or even voice acting before? Or is he only act? Maybe he's not used to it. His line reads are weird. Johnny, wait up. Don't do this. You could still change your mind. Want to see me give up? Sounds like something you'd do. Know why? Because you've always been a fucking pussy, Carrie. Offer you one piece of advice for old time's sake. Stop being one. Time to bring on the future. I don't think they're getting their money is worth out of Keanu Reeves right now. I guess they get to make the character look like him. My arm. I decide who's late and who's not. Get in, or I change my mind. Silverhand. Hey, Shaden. Get us in the air. Here, put this on, and it stays on. Got it? Oh, that's just rude, man. Oh, how could you? That's littering. Pierce are on fire. Pacifica caught off, shut down. APCs on the streets of Watson. Sons of bitches. Skull cracking out there. That us? Johnny's idea. Wayland's drawing Arasaka's attention away from the tower. Collateral damage part of the plan, too. This is the Cub Scouts, Thompson. Chew it up, spit it out. Is this the same uh, the same day? Or is this the nuclear device thing from the, that we've read about in the past? Are we, like, down there right now? Or somewhere? Target range acquired. Make it rain. There's somebody here. I can't see inside this helicopter at all. Are you hitting anything? Like, at all? Is this gonna work? Oh! Hey, I could see him for a second there. In the, in the rain of fire. Ah! 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 Uh, did, 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 did. Okay. Did, 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 did. See, this is how you hit things, jackass. That guy was really bad at his job. Which tells me Keanu Reeves is really bad at hiring people. Apparently. This is his op. Apparently. I really wish I could make the reticle bigger. It's so small. It's easy to lose it in the bluish of the world around it. 
There we go. I legit think he hit no things. Come on out. There we go. Payload on the elevator. Arm it. Let gravity do its thing. Explosion rocks the foundation. Tower crumbles. Chaos. Screaming roll credits. Exit window's gonna be tight. Jackie. This is Johnny Silverhands. Can I get back up here? There we go. Was this interactive? And power off. He doesn't have any capability. He has no ap uh, mechanical aptitude as a skill. Grass green. Birds fly. Mainframe's not your playground, Murphy. Come on. Evac announcement. Broadcast it across all frequencies and let's get moving. Sheesh. Who wrote this manifesto? Really need me to answer that question? Jesus, Johnny. You've gone off the deep end. And that's coming from a chair jock. Come on. Get you hostile. Spider, the spider thing kind of reminds me of uh, the fabulous Killjoys. There we go. Oh, his gun's bullshit. <laughs> Jesus. Someone take that position. How am I missing? Wow. Yeah, he, he magically one-shots everybody. Johnny, payload. In a game where nothing works that way, he kills everybody in one hit. And uh, probably runs out of ne ammo, never. Probably has infinite health. The Demolitron. We're good to blow. Shaka Elite incoming. Run for it! Is that why they keep saying he's high? Is it supposed to show... Is how high he's supposed to be supposed to explain his performance sounding weird? Is it intentional or not? Uh, why'd you put your gun away? Uh, maybe he sounds better after today. Not done yet. Still need to feed this to their subnet. I fucking knew it! This was never about corporate colonialism. This was about your groupie output, wasn't it? No, you wouldn't understand, Rogue. Giving you four fucking minutes. Chopper's not gonna wait one sec longer. Doors off breached. Arasaka sons of bitches incoming. Hello. Stop putting the gun away. I'm not telling you to do it. Oh, he didn't die in one hit. Fixed it. This is leading to a weird paradox where every gunfight I'm getting in is easier than the previous one. <laughs> be really funny if that trend continued forever. My, my, my aim is a disaster, apparently. I was like, he's right fucking there. How am I fucking up this bad? <laughs> Fuck you, tree. In on the access point. Slide in. Sweet icebreaker. Foreign, right? Just wonder if we know anyone who can switch the subnet protocol. Hilarious. You gonna help or not? Do spiders spin webs? It's time we caught some flies. Thanks, Murph. Now, just for good measure. Or like files. Holy cyber cow. We're on TV. Take we a look. Turn now to Arasaka Tower. It's evacuation ongoing after an unidentified terrorist organization released a manifesto threatening violence. The terrorists stating their desire to, quote unquote, Topple a monument to corporate colonialism. 
Night City's mayor, Mbole Ebunike, has issued a statement declaring that he will bring the full force of the law to bear in response to any act of terrorism. Going now to our reporter on the scene at Arasaka Tower. Hopefully he can shed some light on the situation as events unfold. All set. Now get out of there. Yeah, this is the, uh, this is the, the terrorist attack we read about in one of those documents earlier. I don't need to be in that much of a hurry. Everybody dies in one hit. Ish. I'm competent. So two hits. <laughs> ah, I wasn't even there yet. That was weird. Is it, is it going to be the same mech guy? Maybe like less mechanical? Did I make him more mechanical by fucking him up today? Is that is that the prequel story? Oh, no, I think he just died. Murphy. Ooh. Door sealed, but it won't hold for long. Run, Johnny, like the wind. I guess I did fuck up Adam Smasher because I'm still alive, and that guy looked like he was made of paper. Oh. I guess. All right. Smasher. Told you, Johnny boy. Told you I'd end you someday. You look like a cut of fuckable meat. <laughs> Hi, Mother, I'm alive. Let us try once more. Your associates, who are they? How did you acquire fissile material? Gonna give good cop over there a chance to say something? Come on. Which terrorist organization do you belong to? How did you acquire fissile material? Ugh. <laughs> Boss don't look too pleased with your efforts. Ah, oh, damn. Done and gone. My husband died in that tower. It's worse than death. I didn't want him to die. Naze Kono Yonakoto. Why did you do this? To bring an end to the madness, you weak. Hitoa Usotsuki Jibunji Shimoazam. だが、シャワチが。シャワ有弁だが、彼らは決して嘘をつかない。死者の言葉には慎ましさがある。始めろ。The soul killer. That's, is that's the sound of you dying? Ah. Well, this is a trip. See, I, th I think we, I think we pre-confirmed that Johnny Silverhand dies, right? If I remember correctly, there was they were talking about the legends of this town and how they always, you, you always become a legend by, uh, when you die. I think that was the bar conversation about the drinks. 
I think that's when we established that if a handful of people that will die, and I think Johnny Silverhand was on the list, who's apparently the character that Keanu Reeves plays. He does have silver hands. So this is the room that I blew out of there from? I talked about Observer, and now it definitely is happening. I'm... We are actually doing the part where we play through the memories of a dying person and their scattered mind, and it's represented by a crazy, trippy, vi trippy visual, all while being in a cyberpunk universe and all that. Like, it's actually really interesting. It is amusing that I've actually played this exact scenario recently. I was a little concerned there was no floor here. Meanwhile, the visual style of this scene is like, uh... Scanner somber? The idea of representing the, the environment exclusively via particles. Which I played years ago, but I specifically just did a video on it like a month ago, when I got VR for the first time. Because I wanted to test it out. It's me! Oof. Keanu Reeves is not a voice actor. <laughs> He's not a voice actor. It's not Orkin. Oh no. Was the voice director afraid to push him because celebrity? Or did they not have the time? Did they have to burn through the lines quickly because... Yeah. Because he's like famous dude and doesn't have- we don't have that much time to do that many takes. Okay, we're back to me now. So I've got, I've got my, I've got my fingernails, and most importantly, both of my hands. Ooh. How do I tell what, which glitches are intended and which ones are real? Oh no! I can buy the world glitching and wobbling around me, but why would why would the debris on top of me be blinking in and out of existence if it's an intended glitch in game? That feels like it was just a real glitch. Well, shit. <laughs> why don't you just make sure I'm dead the first time if you're gonna check back again? What about the chip in my head? Don't, isn't that important? Ugh, than he looks. I've definitely heard this voice actor before. I have done exactly what you asked. So let's you and me figure this It's him, I have no doubt. That is, uh, not accurate. He's not very good at his job, as it turns out. Wait! But we can replay memories. Oh wait, no, I wasn't recording, was I? Ah, if I was recording. It's a fucking dump! I guess I was right that I'd wake up in a dump like in Detroit, but... Not... Not an android hellscape, just I was the only android. Technically not an android. Wow, things fucking got out of hand. Jesus. I 
Have you taken one yet? Ugh. Okay, okay, that one's not a glitch. He's supposed to look, look like that. Ooh. Another one of these. These are really common. Tech weapons allow you to charge up powerful shots. My Mega Buster can cut the. Oh, that doesn't feel right. Because it doesn't release from you letting go. It kind of releases when it feels like. Do I need to shoot your car or something? There, there we go. Oop. We're going off that, aren't we? Oh. Not quite. Oh, he's driving backwards. Dude, this guy's a bullet sponge. Oh. Witness me! Oh. Uh, okay. Oh, he's still here. Can I shoot him now? Yes. Alright, I'm usually not allowed to shoot, just so we're clear. Yeah, I'm basically never allowed to shoot. Here we go. Okay, I'm not actually... I'm I don't think I'm actually playing... <laughs> I think this is a fake cutscene that pretends I'm playing. Every single one of them died in a super scripted way. You can just show me a cutscene, it's fine. You don't have to pretend I'm playing. Because mechanically it feels really bad. Medical attention. Do you know a Ripadoc whom you can trust? You. You were at Kumbeki Plaza. We must get to Ripadoc quickly. Did well back there. Do not waste time. Hector will. Fix us up. We have to get there somehow. Call someone. Anyone. Why? Why not just cut me loose? I'm a dead weight to you. Make the call. All right, all right. Greetings. My scanner indicates you are outside the service area. Just come pick me up. I need to get to Misty Esoterica. In front of Vix. Of course. A vehicle is en route. It should arrive in less than 20 minutes. What are you doing? Hey! The personal link is damaged. Please proceed to insert the jack below the ear, though not too deep. There should be auxiliary neuro sockets between his lymph nodes, beneath the SCM muscle. I don't like if that I we're implicating our Ripper mistake, duck. He will die. Indeed, as he will if you do nothing. I think I have the socket. Now proceed to connect. Everyone who's about to retire keeps dying, and he's also about to retire. Oh no, he already retired. That means he's safe. <laughs> I cannot hold it. But I'm wanted for murder slash terrorism potentially. I need to rest. I shouldn't be bringing people to this guy. Misty.
pressure's tanking. It's neurogenic shock. He's dying. Gotta cut my way through the occipital bone. No other way. There is risk of... I know what I'm doing. Where did he shoot me in the execution he tried to do? Before I got in the dump. Because I'm living a long time for what felt like a headshot or something. Well, I bet he's regretting over-investing in my future right about now. He paid big money for that upgrade and I didn't even get any money in response. How is he? Slower on the men than you, but looking better every day. Describe them to me. Blinding lights. It's loud. I'm on stage and I almost can't breathe. I'm so damn full of hatred. Then I let it all out into a mic and I realized it didn't help. I don't feel any better. And then, <laughs> promise not to laugh. I plant a bomb in Arasaka Tower. Nothing there to laugh about. Johnny Silverhands is in the relic. Night City looked different, strange, and I hated it. I hated everybody, every inch. It was too real, even for a lucid dream. You weren't dreaming, V. Those were memories. There's a personality construct on that shard. Dreams you had were from his past. Hang on. I mean to say there's an actual terrorist in my head. Right now. That's right. Johnny Silverhand. Had his crowning moment about 50 years ago. AHQ bombing. Heard of it? It's his doing. People say he was buried under the rubble. <sighs> anyway, that's not what's important right now. You've never given me that look before, Vic. What is it? You, uh... Don't got a lot of time left, kid. Say what now? Biochip. It's basically a bomb. Fuse lit already. You don't have much time left. Much life. A few weeks tops. Silverhand's construct is overriding your consciousness, gradually taking over your body until one day you'll just be gone. V. It's important you get all this. You'll fix me up, right? Vic? If I could, I would, V. Believe me. But this is... It's way beyond what I know how to do. You're the best of the best, Vic. Why can't you help me? 
You want the long story or the short? Don't admit a thing, not one deep. Okay, there was, is a construct, a psyche on the chip, out of Johnny Silverhand. You jacked it in your chip slot. Nothing happened, right? Until you died. Bullet in the head from Dexter to Sean. But how do you come back from something like that? Low caliber, you lucked out. Not least thanks to another poor decision by Mr. Deshaun. The nanites off the chip started fixing the damage. Then they took your hand and coaxed you off the path toward the light. People don't just die and get up like nothing happened. Used to be true. Now it's only if they don't have a classified piece of corpo tech primed to resurrect them. What about me? My psyche? I'll make it back from the other side and what? I'm supposed to pretend change is normal? Ask the Arasaka engineers who built the thing. All I know is your mind's gonna go. And it won't be pretty. From the biochip's perspective, your brain cells are a tumor that needs to be scooped out. While your body's an empty shell to hold a construct. So this fucking terrorist wants to wipe me and take my place, take my body. It's not willful on his part, it's automatic, inevitable, and neither of you can stop it. Can't we just take the chip out or switch it off? Either way is out of the question, you die immediately. I remember this thing. Saw it on TV. What was that stupid slogan? Soul something? Secure your soul. But that's it. It's just supposed to let you communicate with constructs. Maybe, but this is a prototype by the look of things. Somehow made it out of Arasaka Labs. Vic, you've always come through for me. If there's nothing you can do to help me, then... Well, what the hell do I do? Tell me, please, Vic. I wish I knew, kid. Misty? You're asking too much from an old-timer like Vic. Come on, V. Let's get you home. And then he died. And I thought I was gonna die. With him in my sleep. Sleep's a small hint of death. The inevitable. Can't actually tell if I'm awake now. I mean, I could be dead already, right? Not something to focus on, V. Let it go. Here, got some meds for you. Omega blockers. Taken regularly, they'll keep things from progressing too quickly. Hexagons! Also, they should keep that guest of yours calm and quiet. Pseudoendotrizines from me. Effect will be opposite. It'll speed things up. Free the demon, so to speak. Giving me a pill to prod that son of a bitch so he can kill me faster? Listen, you're likely to be fine for a while. But sometime down the road, it could turn into pure agony. I'm giving you options, honey. The brain could be tricked. Plain old painkillers do that. Your psyche's gonna die, V. You'll feel your old self slipping away. At some point, you won't recognize yourself. 
He'll be terrifying. He'll be painful. But it doesn't have to be. The fuck I need pills for? I ought to just stick a gun in my mouth and pull the trigger. Well, that way you'd kill two souls. Is that what you want? I gotta lie down. Here, got one more thing for you. Vic pulled this out of your skull. A lucky charm? Promise you'll try to get some sleep. Didn't you hear? My condition's terminal. What good can this do? Don't be silly. As long as you're alive, there's hope. And don't let anyone tell you otherwise. You really think I can make it? Survive this? Of course you can. I mean, you did already die and come back once, didn't you? Misty, wait. Uh, about Jackie. Yeah? I'm so fucking sorry Jack's not here anymore. Jackie was special. Really spiritually rich. He touched so many people with his love. Don't worry. You'll be around. You sure you'll be all right? I'll be fine. Life is so beautifully powerful. So much more powerful than death. But right now, you need rest. So sleep. Please sleep. Is Jackie also in the chip? Because he wore it first. Oh my god, use beds correctly. Am I going to have to watch Johnny kill Jackie? And Jackie dies again? Because if Johnny's killing everyone in here, if Jackie's in here too, then we get to watch Jackie die twice. Or he never comes up again. Can we follow up on where his body went? Is it a thing I can look into again? It's like a dangling thread. Gotta get out of here, understand? And I'll kill anyone who gets in my way. You included. Well. I take it he's just always angry. Need a smoke. Where'd you stash yours? <laughs> he's just bashing his head against the wall. And it just frustrated he has to wait for me. I'm sorry, am I not being convenient enough to you as you murder me slowly? Don't smoke. Then go out and get some. Just need one last one. Jesus fucking Christ, man. The fuck kind of joy toy are you supposed to be? Fucking go stop! Joy toy? Well, this got interesting real quickly, this whole dynamic. And the stakes are raised like fucking crazy. All right. The true cyberpunk experience begins here, I suppose. So I've got a ticking clock, which is kind of funny because it's like, oh, here's the countdown to your death. You better hurry up and find the solution to this problem. And uh, here's like just logically, I just know like, oh, here's here's the beginning of the incredibly time consuming, sprawling, nonlinear open world CD Projekt Red game <laughs> like time to do dozens of hours of side quests probably uh in that context is kind of funny but you know that's how it do but uh the day of the dead skull is kind of more ironic now isn't it but the fact that he's overriding my personality does does a few things like one we get to deal with the fact that he's around here as a character but we also get to deal with the idea of like oh if you want to suddenly switch the way you're role-playing your character like here's your the devil on your shoulder kind of character that you can that can kind of be the reason why you're having a personality switch over time it's like a, a big revelation midway through a game could lead to changes in your personality granted i i didn't need that much of a push apparently because i did take that uh 
shoot him opportunity in that in that gang's situation before. Ah! Who you work for? Start talking. Fuck. Fuck. Fucking chip. Rip the thing out myself. No, wait. Oh. What if that just killed us right there? Like the end. I'll take control. Ah. I'll find a way. I think I need supervision. It might have been better if there was a thing in the reflection, like maybe even he was the one in the reflection. They could they weren't really selling that I was hitting my head on that. It didn't look like it was happening, but the idea is fucking distressing. See you never, asshole. Now like that. Stick some iron in your mouth and pull the trigger. Slap. I can feel it. Our minds touch on you. I'm like mold on fruit creeping into you. Nothing I can do about it. You hear me? I'd puke if I fucking could. It's just a copy of the egg gram. Those are huge pills. Somewhere. Gotta be. How the fuck are you gonna swallow those? That'll be impressive. Kill you! Do it. What are you waiting for? Oh, fuck me. It's like trying to swallow a finger. Well, things are going well. They're not going well. They're not going well at all. Uh, shit. Uh, where do I want to go next with this stuff? They keep giving me more handguns, and that's not even what I want to use most of the time. Breach protocol. Reduce physical resistance of all enemies in the area. More euro dollars from data mine spots. More time for breach protocol. Is there a time limit for breach protocol? I haven't even noticed. Hmm. Like more UDs. E er, er, ED eddies. EDs. Eddies. Blah, blah, blah. I'm so fucking cool. You don't understand how cool I am. <laughs> Here's a question. Am I alive? Or more specifically, am I the original person? Or am I have I myself already died and been replaced, essentially? Because I have questions about how... Like, we, we talked about the, the teleporter problem kind of idea a little bit with the idea of this thing that... This immortality chip. Like, if it creates an AI construct that's just a copy of somebody, then that's not that person reaching immortality, that's just a facsimile of immortality. It's just somebody copying them. So it's about it's the same kind of idea, immortality that comes from, like, having offspring, essentially. Like, if you consider that to be a legacy, like, that's the idea of having an AI copy of yourself to carry on your legacy after you're gone. It's not you living on, because you don't transfer to that AI and continue from that perspective. It just separately is something that behaves like you. And so at first I was like, okay, this chip 
is apparently some kind of rad super thing that can pick me back up and keep me alive. So it somehow, somehow a chip gave me a Wolverine healing factor and it's growing me back. I'm like, okay, I'm questioning how the fuck a chip does that. It's a chip. How does it make the organic parts of my body grow back? But whatever, that's just the assumption of this basic narrative. We'll just go with it. But then I have the question, so at first I'm like, okay, so we're still us. It's like when you bring somebody back from the dead, like when, like physically, like be, like when they're, like when they they flatline and you bring them back, like that's one thing. But then we have the idea, uh, the the fact that apparently if I take the chip out, I die instantly. Like oh, oh, that's worrying. <laughs> that is an existential crisis to be had right there, because the suggestion that I'm getting from that is that. My character, V, died when they got shot in the head, and they never came back. That character is completely dead forever, and the chip, which already copied his personality, is now just kind of puppeteering his body around with its own AI construct version of V. And then that AI construct is being overridden by a different AI construct within the same chip. Like that, hmm. But that is further muddied by the fact that he said that the doctor, Vic, Vic, Victor, was his name Victor? Did they have to have another main character that has the letter V in their name when they're going to name me V? That, that was a choice. Uh, he says that my brain cells are something to be overridden. Like you're terraforming Mars, basically. Like my, my brain's going to get terraformed by this chip. And he said brain specifically. And I don't know if he was being literal or figurative with that expression. But if he meant my literal brain, then maybe I am still the original V? Or maybe he just means that the program of V inside the chip is getting overridden by the Johnny Hil Silverhands program that's in the chip. Because either way, I can't survive without the chip. And you would think that once my body is repaired enough, I could take the chip out and I'd be fine. So if taking the chip out kills me instantly, that means there must be something wrong with me, and that my I must I might be brain dead, and my, the only uh, the only memory that is left is the one in the chip. Because otherwise, wouldn't uh, Jackie have died instantly when he took the chip out? Because Jackie also took the chip out, and he he survived for a while. He got he died from wounds, not from the chip, as far as we could tell. So that supports the idea that I'm just an AI construct being overwritten by another AI construct. And that AI construct is, in some ways, technically alive and will be dying, so there's still stakes here. But I'm not necessarily the same V from the beginning of the game. That person's likely already dead. Alternatively, it could be that V is alive and the brain, my brain is mine and is alive and all that. But, because I was shot in the brain in the first place, it, it, it's, the brain is seen as a damaged thing that has to be repaired. And so we have, the, we have like this Doctor Who horror of like, this is a kindness, where like, the AI medical bot is trying to help me and thinks it's helping, but it's overriding my brain by physically rebuilding it over itself. And its template is a different person's brain, so it's replacing my brain with a different person's brain. And in that, in, in that case, there's, there is this horrifying idea <clears throat> that V is still alive and never died, but, the, but because he suffered brain damage, the AI is trying to re repair his brain based on the brain of a different person, and that template is going to end up giving V that person's personality and memories like as, as some sort of advanced cyberpunk version of dementia, essentially. Hey, buddy. So shit's fucked, basically. Shit's basically pretty fucked. I like how it's like, get dressed. Optional. <laughs> Clothing sets. I can, I can wear bandages now. There are times when it really doesn't matter how you look. <laughs> so put your bloody bandages back on, apparently. That's... That's normal, right? How do I unequip? There we go. Yeah. We've been through a lot. Let's get dressed.
You can sort by name, DPS, quality, and weight, and price. I guess price is the best indicator of quality I have. <coughs> if they're not going to let me see. See, why would armor not be sorted by defense? Yeah, I don't... Uh, I want to wear stuff that'll keep me alive, because this game will, is going to attack me. But I also don't want to look like this. <laughs> I made a, I customized a character, and I want to, be, and I want that to be what they look like. Not that you look at your character that much, anyway. Oopsie. So here's some decent armor chunks. We've got a pistol, a pistol, and a shotgun. Let's get my LMG again. They apparently unequipped my LMG. I'm back with this gear again. Okay. Well. We'll just have to try to make this work out, huh? Stock up on ammo. Find something to eat. Check your email. Establishing routine. And pretending that any of this matters. Rent pass due. <laughs> just add that to my list, huh? <laughs> Dear, dear sir slash madam, we don't even know which one, apparently. Our records show that we have not received this month's rent payment for your unit in Mega Building H10. In accordance with the tenancy agreement, blah 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 blah, any subsequent payment delay will result in forced eviction from the property. Womp womp. The funny thing is this is like the future, and in modern day we have email algorithms that can sub substitute in your name and gender and so on. So they just don't care, <laughs> is the actual takeaway here. Uh. Alright, so now we know what's actually going on in this game. And shit's fucked. Can I put these clothes on? Like a bunch of different options in here. Oh. This reflection does- oh, that's not a reflection, that's just a window. <laughs> so can I decorate these places? Like, can I put- Can I put stuff there? To be like, haha. Here's my weapon collection that I will display. I don't see an option to. For that matter, like, can I- Can I decorate this apartment? Or make any choices about how it's set up? I wonder. Oh. There goes my hair, apparently. Why is my hair gone? It's cool, we'll just stack some more bugs on top of the bugs. The window's all fucked up all the time now. There's some ammo. Find some deed. I guess they mean here. I don't. Do I have a fridge? There's some food. Takemura here. We must meet. Come to Thomas Diner. Hmm. Why would I do that? Because I am the one who saved your life. Haven't managed to get my head straight yet. Not after everything that happened. That will not happen anytime soon. And so what? If you intend to leave, you must re-enter the ring. The bell has already told. Thomas Diner, I am waiting. Okay. I'm curious. Oh, oh, oh. Relic malfunction detected. This isn't going well. That's not going well. All right. Well, I've got questions about this situation in general, so maybe we'll get some answers when we meet up with this guy, because why are we playing so nice here? I'm guessing it's just because, like, he's just trapped with the fact that I have the relic in my head, so he has, he has to specifically keep me alive, so suddenly we're, like, weirdly buddy-buddy with the, what should be the biggest enemy of mine. Am I going to try to tell him? What happened? Does he suspect? Ooh. That would be interesting. 
What if he's only reporting to that guy that he found the killer, but he actually suspects what really happened? That could ex that could also explain why we're cooperating, and he might he might be my new companion character that we go through quests with and everything, because uh, he might be in on what happened and tr be trying to prove that. Hmm. I guess we'll see.